What's up guys? Welcome to another five minute Friday. This video is going to be all about Photoshop layers. Now I'm going to break this up into two separate videos, one with layers, one with masks. That way I can cover a little bit more. Let's throw five minutes on the clock and let's get started. So the first thing we want to do when we come up here into Photoshop is make sure that we click on window workspace and make sure you're in the photography workspace. You're going to see mine's probably a little bit different than yours, but I can move around these panels. I like to keep them all on the one side. There is two types of layers in Photoshop. There's your pixel layer and there's an adjustment layer. Let's start off with pixel layer and simply all that is is that's your image layer. So what you see here is it's going to show it as a background layer with a little lock on it. All that means is that's your base layer. You can't move it around. You can't do anything with it besides keep it as your bottom layer. And generally we don't do much with that. Back over to this one here, the pano DNG comes across as a layer zero instead of a background layer, which you know it's not a big deal either way. I just want to show you guys sometimes you're going to see it as a background layer when you import it. There's another type of pixel layer called the blank pixel layer. So if you come down here to this little cross inside the square, you're going to see this layer come up. There's nothing on it. So I can turn this on and off here and you can see that nothing's happening. This is a great type of layer in landscape photography for dodging and burning or light bleeding. I can grab a brush. I can come in here. I change the blend mode, which we're going to get into blend mode in just a second to soft light. I can start doing a little bit of light bleeding here. This is great for showing directional light and adding a little bit of drama to your photo. You can see I can turn this on and off and I did a little bit of light bleeding there. That's one of the uses of a blank pixel layer. Definitely there's a lot more than that, but this is a general understanding. And what I use pixel layers for is for dodging and burning. Now the next type of layer is an adjustment layer. Your adjustments are all located right here or you can come up here to image adjustments and you can do all of your adjustments here. Things like hue and saturation, contrast, vibrance, brightness, anything like that. You can also access your adjustments down here. This little circle, you can come up here and you can click on any one of these. What I do is I use the adjustments panel right here. What you do is you click on any one of these adjustments. Let's say I want to do a saturation adjustment. I can click on this and this little panel comes up and then your layer with a little layer mask which we're going to cover next week comes up and I can choose the reds and you know make a saturation adjustment and really saturate the reds a little bit. I'm going to go too far with it because I'm going to show you guys another trick. What you can also do with these layers, you can adjust the opacity. In other words, you can adjust how much of that layer is showing. If I come up here to opacity, click on this little icon here and I can bring it down and you can see here it lessens the adjustment. Obviously 100% is too much, but I can bring it down to, you know, 30, 25%, something like that. The great thing about layers and why Photoshop and layers is so powerful is it allows you to work non-destructively. What that means is all of these adjustments, every single adjustment you do, it doesn't actually manipulate any of the pixels on the original photo. What it's doing is it's setting up instructions for Photoshop. So when you render it out like a JPEG, it writes all that to a JPEG on a separate file, but it doesn't actually damage or affect any of the original pixels in the raw file. No matter how many of these adjustment layers you put on, I can come back here and turn these on and off and you can see the difference. And if I want to make a further adjustment, let's say I have a bunch of layers and I realize that I've gone too far. Let's say I've oversaturated these reds. I can come back here to this icon, make sure that it's highlighted, and then I can choose this icon here with the cubes under the properties and I can make some adjustments. So Let's say I want to come back to the reds and I see that I just maybe went a bit too far. And then let's say I want to do a brightness contrast adjustment here and maybe make it a little bit brighter, make it a little bit darker. I can always go back, tweak things if I need to. That is the real beauty of Photoshop. The last thing I want to talk about quick, because I want to make this just a general understanding and we're going to get deeper into layer masks uh, next week. But let's say that I want to create a dodge and burn layer. So I'm going to choose a blank layer. Now, blend modes simply are how that layer is going to interact with the layer beneath. If I click on blend mode down here, this section right here, soft light is the sweet spot for any kind of light bleeding or dodging and burning. I'm going to choose normal. I'm going to grab a brush and I'm just going to paint that same light bleed as I did before. And you can see how strong it is when it's just on normal blend mode. It's way too strong, way too colorful. If I change the blend mode, I come down here to soft light. Now you can see a big difference. The last thing we're going to talk about is stamp visible. So let's say that I made a bunch of adjustments. Now I want to do something like the Orton effect. I can't just go up and choose the Orton effect with filter 
and go down to blur because I would be doing it on one of these layers here. So what I would do is I would hold down shift, option, command, E if you're on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it's shift, alt, control, E. This is called the stamp visible layer. I took all of the adjustments and I stamped them onto one layer. So that is the basics of what layers are, pixel layers and adjustment layers. It's quite simple. Next week, we're gonna go over masks and layer masks. That's a pretty big one. That's one where I think people start getting confused. So stay tuned for that next Friday. Friday. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.